a prophecy from a sinner. Hmm. Okay. I want to share this story with you. This is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. This is a testimony of how much God loves us and how deeply and detailed, uh, how involved he is with our personal lives and our business. Okay. When I was seven, this is a little background. I used to love watching the movie over and over, King of Kings, because it shared the story of Jesus. And as a child, I would sit there with tears streaming down my face, saying, I want to know him. I want to know him. I want to see him personally. Oh, that would be so beautiful. Well, that's as far as that went. You know how that goes. And when I was 11, I was invited to a church by one of my neighbors down the street. And when I went to the church, I gave my heart to the Lord. Ooh, surprise to a lot of you. Well, guess what? I went home. My mother totally poo-pooed the idea. And I just threw my hands up and said, well, then forget it. And I gave up the ghost on it, right? But this is what I love about God. Check this out. God never gave up on me because he loved me so much. He honored my desire and my prayer when I was at that altar. Even though I thought, well, if mama says this, this ain't about nothing, then what am I bothering with it for? God was still there for me. Let me share this. I was at a nightclub with a girlfriend of mine. We were neighbors. And we were getting ready to go boogie down at the right track. It was a disco joint. Now, some of you young people don't know what a disco joint is. And I know I am dating myself. So, we were there shaking it, baking it, and anyway. And she got some catch action. This guy was together. I mean, he was fine. He was tall, dark, handsome, and sexy. Okay, now the brother was put together. Check this out. The brother was put together, very well groomed. You could see his nails, his watch, his accessories, everything all the way from head to toe was tight and right. Okay. Now, he carried himself as a gentleman. Very, very, very wonderful presentation. So, we're off to the restaurant to meet Brother Man so that my friend can have her little rendezvous in the future with this brother. So we meet at a restaurant, an all-night restaurant, and we are sitting around, the three of us, yeah, me, the third wheel, but we're sitting around, and everything was cool. The guy seemed really, really cool. But guess what happened? All of a sudden, I'm sitting there, smoking my cigarette, sipping on my coffee, and I see this scenario happening before my eyes. I'm like, what the heck is this? And I watched it for a minute. And I'm looking at what it, what's happening and who it's happening to and, and who it's happening by. And I'm like, oh, this is crazy. So I said, okay, I got to be cool. So I... Asked my friend if we could just talk outside for a quick minute. I forgot I want to share something with her. And I asked the young gentleman to please excuse us for a minute. And she's looking at me with that eye like, girl, this better be good because you interrupting a fine here. So we go outside. It's nighttime about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. We're standing outside and I'm saying, girl, you have got to hear this. I have never had this happen to me in my life, but I got to share this with you. Please listen to me. And then the tears started coming down my, my eyes. 
I mean, they were just streaming down my face. I couldn't stop it. I had no idea I was operating in one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. God's gifts and callings are without repentance. So that one little trip I made to the altar opened the door for some stuff I didn't know. Mm. See, God uses the gifts to really protect us in a lot of ways. Guide and lead us, you know. I'm outside talking to her and I said, listen, I said, whatever you do, please don't go out with this guy tonight. Please do not do this. And she's looking at me like, what the heck is this? You know, like, what's it to you? And I told her what I saw while I was sitting in that restaurant. And it shocked me because I didn't see it on him at all. I said, girl, this man, I saw it happening. He had you. You were willing, but that wasn't good enough for him. He had to body slam you and rape you. And when he got through raping you, he beat you to a pulp. And when you started to come back to consciousness, he raped you again. And then he beat you to a pulp. And he raped you and he beat you. And it was, looked like it was going to be within an inch of your life if you survived it. And this was the sad part. This was the scariest part. The brother was a policeman. Go figure. When I got to telling her, um, I mean, I'm just, um, I'm messed up. I'm just crying, pleading with her. Whatever you do, please don't get along with this guy. He's psycho. He likes hurting women. And the more I talked, the more I could see. And when I got through, she said, okay, I tell you what. Because she could see I was serious. We were best friends. She said, what I'll do is I'll take his phone number and, and I won't go anywhere with him tonight. I said, thank you. And as a result, she never got hurt. But I saw that, that thing so plain. I could not deny it. I couldn't brush it off as, as, as a whim. I, I couldn't just ignore that thing because I was afraid she might not live through the night. That's how serious that, that vision was that I had. So anyway, I say that to say to all of you guys, everything that glitters is not necessarily gold. Everything that's tall, dark, fine, and handsome is not necessarily fine. There could be a stinger. There could be a knife. There could be a gun or billy club. But listen, ladies, stop being so eager, beaver, and quick to trust yourself in a man's care that you don't even know. In these last days, the demons are breaking out big time. And let me tell you, sweetheart, what they used to do that was horrendous, that fire is going to be turned up even hotter. And some of the most unthinkable things will be happening in these rapes. Please guard yourself. Please be careful. If it feels wrong, it is wrong. If it feels icky, if it feels uh, shady, or you get that, 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 that second thought, like, oh, I don't know if I should do this. Don't. Just don't. Please listen to me when I say this. Some of you, this may be the only warning you get. Don't think because he looked like he's well hung and he's all buffed up and he's got it going on and his pocket is full of money. Don't think that because all that's working for him that the brother has any heart. I don't care what color, race, age. Be careful. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God protects you and I pray that God will send his guardian, warrior, and ministering angels to guard you from danger. Please, ladies, those of you who are saved and committed and those of you who are not saved, 
I plead with all of you because we all play stupid. I've been, I, yeah, I've been stuck on stupid a whole lot of times when I was young and kind of up in age too, but we won't go there. So my point to you is, had I not had the Lord in my older age, where would I have been now? Okay, I accepted the Lord when I was 27. So we won't go there about my age right now. But listen, on the serious side, some of you might be 47 or 57. Don't be so desperate. Please. Okay, I'm done. That's my warning for the night, for the year, for the season. Please be very, very careful. All right. Even if you're not a believer, pray before you go anywhere that you get a warning if it's a dangerous or if it's potentially a dangerous situation. That check you get in your gut, you find a quick excuse. Oh, I just got the case. I, I think I just got a little case of diarrhea. I think I better stay home. Whatever you want to come up with, don't go if you get a check. Do you hear me? And some of you women are engaged to men that you think because they joke a lot, they laugh a lot, they clown a lot. They're, oh, Mr. Charm, oh, what a social butterfly. Oh, this is just wonderful. But you have no idea what happens when that man gets angry. Ask God to show you before you say the I do. Ask God to show you. If that man will bust your head wide open just because you didn't fix the coffee correctly or you didn't put enough salt on the greens. Just because they're laughing and joking, baby, does not mean that they're not capable of hurting you. Okay? There are cycles out there, y'all. Be very careful in the name of Jesus.